Hello everyone, Peter Newman with you for the first RE Insight of 2022. This RE Insight is about trifluralin resistance and it was led by Dr Wang, a visiting Chinese researcher to RE and other members of the RE research team. So what they did was they looked at two different uh, mutations, the 243 MET mutation and the 202 FI mutation. Both of these are target site mutations that cause trifluralin resistance. The very interesting thing here is this 243 MET mutation, when it was homozygous, was just about lethal. It pretty well killed the ryegrass. So that would be great, wouldn't it, if we could spray trifluralin and either kill the ryegrass or if we get resistance, the resistance mechanism kills it. It was nearly lethal. We had 99.7% less seed set and something like 97% less biomass under competition with wheat in pots. So fantastic. However, it's very, very rare. Bad news is this 202 FI mutation, that is the most common target site mutation that we have that causes trifluralin resistance in ryegrass in Australia, actually has a fitness advantage. So the trifluralin resistance makes it stronger, something like 30% more seed set and about 25% more biomass under competition with wheat. And when it was in competition with wheat, the wheat really struggled to compete with it more than normal ryegrass. So on one hand, some exciting research, a very rare mutation that's nearly lethal to the plant, but the, the stark reality here is that our most common target site mutation for trifluralin resistance in Australia actually gives the ryegrass a fitness advantage and makes it like super ryegrass. Anyway, for more information, check out RE Insight.